getting into now? You want to say hi? Say hi. <laughs> All right, get out of here. You see how I roll? Hello, party people. Today, we're going to do some stuff around the house. I made a list. Um, It's a kind of a short list. I'm sure it will expand throughout the day when I think of more things that I need to do. Most importantly, I need to tidy up my pantry. Not an organization, not like a new system. Just tidying that crap up because it is a disaster. I always have laundry. I actually have some in the wash going right now. Challenge for you, put some laundry in the wash. I know you've got some dirty laundry around. Unless you don't, hats off to you. You're a better woman than I am. <laughs> and then when the kids get home from school, I plan to make them a snack. Maybe I'll make them a charcuterie board. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna offer them some kind of treat, food. Or maybe I'll just make myself a snack. I have been craving those uh, copycat heavenly hunks. I made them and I wasn't sure when I made them if I loved them, but now I know after eating all of them that I definitely love them. So I'm probably going to make them again. Uh, I might share some dinner or lunch with you. Maybe a workout, maybe a walk, maybe we'll go to the park. Who knows? what the day will bring, a Meredith. And we'll probably tidy up around the house. I have my front area right there. Just don't, how about that? How about don't look at it, okay? <laughs> Let's just pretend the mess isn't even there. Does that sound good? Great. <laughs> actually, let's clean up because it's driving me crazy. I actually recently took all my Easter stuff and put it in the shed. And I actually didn't make it to the shed, but I put it in a tote, so there's step one. I got it out of the house. But now I feel like this is a spot that collects so much more stuff. This is actually stuff that everyone left over our house. There's so much more than this though. Where do you keep it? This morning, Wentworth had a, a little like art show at his school. It was like art and music and dance. He had a performance. Anyway, after that they had a little treat for the mamas or the women in their life. There were some men there too. And this is what he made for me. Can you see the resemblance? <laughs> and then he filled out this little questionnaire and the first question is, my mommy is blank years old. And Wentworth wrote, 50, he's so kind. Apparently I'm also really good at doing flips in the sky. There are so many shoes here that don't even belong to any of my children. Oh, and, oh, okay, short story long. I thought about going to Ikea today, but I just, I don't know if I really have the time or energy to do that, but we need a new shoe cabinet. We've had this for a few years, two, three years, going on around three years, I'd say. Anyway, it's missing one of these. Both of the things have broken. We just need a new one. Watch your fingers. It lasted for a while, and I feel like it would have lasted longer if my kids weren't kids. <laughs> but we're making it work, you know what I mean? what you gotta do in life. What are all these teeny tiny things? You know what, I say, hey kids, clear out your backpack. A candle? Oh, you want some water? Hold on, hold on. All right, almost done, almost done, almost done. So many water bottles, but I can never find them in the morning when I need to. This is the kind of stuff I find in their backpacks. <laughs> Forget all you need is love. All you need is booba tea. Oh man, my whole house is a mess. All right, well, that's about as good as it's going to get. Better than nothing. Are you singing? Ooh, a song and dance. So this is what happens. Before I can actually deep clean, I guess, or tidy up, my pantry area, which I'm not showing you yet because I'm too embarrassed. I'll get over it in a minute. But the reason why it's not tidy is because I'm always busy tidying the rest of my house first. And then by the time I finish all these little tasks, I'm like, oh, forget it, I'm done with for the day. And big tasks like that get put off. Nonetheless, today is that day. So let me just get the dishes completed first. Are you gonna help me? Oh cool, you have your cleaning gloves on, let's do it. Well, I guess I'll give you a little overview here. This bag we have not used uh, since this past weekend when we went to, I don't even know where we went, but we used it. All right, cool. I mean, this is pretty gross too. Okay, cool, I'm just gonna do dishes and talk to you like you're my friend, you came over my house to, to hang out. A little loud, but that's life, you know? Well, you're kind of in the way of my cupboard, so give me a minute, will ya? 
So let's talk about waking your kids up in the morning if you have kids, or this could pertain to you yourself. So Alex and I were talking this morning and I was kind of annoyed, kind of as an understatement, uh, because my kids, every morning, I go to wake them up and it's always a hassle. It's always this big thing. I hate waking my kids up in the morning. And so he decided to ask, he's in this like parents group and he asked everyone, if you could rate waking your kids up in the morning, one being super easy and 10 being, I don't know how he phrased it, probably like the worst thing you've ever done or something along those lines. Because for me, it's like the worst thing I've ever done. It takes me so long to wake them up. I'm talking like almost an hour just to get them out of bed. And then if they don't get out of bed on time, then they're rushing around the house, running behind and all that stuff. So it's just one annoying thing on top of another. I feel like everyone else's kids just Pop up out of bed, good morning, we're <laughs> ready to start the day. I have this illusion in my mind because uh, sometimes when we have other kids spend the night and I have to wake them up, that's how it is. Are they waking up for me because I'm a stranger? I don't know. Anyway, so Alex posted in his group and so many people said like nine, 9.5. Some of them were like one, which is, what kind of potion are they feeding their kids to wake them up like angels? Anyway, so I wanted to ask you if you could if you have kids or how would you rate yourself getting out of bed in the morning? Like are you someone to press the snooze button for an hour? Because that is my oldest child, 1000%. And I just worry that when she grows up and she has responsibilities and she needs to get to her classes for college or she has a job, that she's just going to keep pressing snooze. Maybe I have high expectations for them because I'm the type of person who, when my alarm goes off, I get up right away. I get out of bed. And so maybe I expect that of them. But I mean, I've been waking them up for seven, eight years for school. It hasn't gotten any better. Well, okay, I guess it has gotten a little better because I used to have to uh, get Avelina dressed. Like while she was passed out, I would like be putting her pants on and stuff. So that doesn't happen anymore. And I definitely don't allow that. But man, tell you what. Are you trying to help? Are you trying to help mama? Oh, hi. Do you want to wash the bowl? I need to get her one of those stools where she can help. She always wants to help. You washing Meredith? And just a few minutes later, everything's almost tidy. That's all it takes usually is just a few minutes. I share on my Instagram, well, I have been sharing mostly. Uh, when I have a destroyed kitchen, I set my timer for about 15 minutes. Not about, I set it for 15 minutes and I always get it cleaned in 15 minutes. All right, well, I thought I was done, but then I forgot about this bag that has, oh, cool, half a sandwich. Oh, some granola bars. I thought we were out. I actually need to run to Costco again, if you can believe that. <laughs> I don't ever know how to get the smell out of lunchboxes. Use some disinfectant in there. Give it a good wipe down. Ah! Want some water? Drink that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Purifies the soul. I should probably drink up too. Alex has this rule of thumb. Whenever someone offers you water or you think about water, drink it. And then maybe you'll stay hydrated. <laughs> you want an orange? I'm gonna put this up here. It'll get some sunlight and maybe that'll help the stench. Okay, so I guess we should clean the pantry now. And what am I doing? What I would like to do right now is just nothing. <laughs> Are you ready for the grand reveal? Actually, that looks really dirty. I'm gonna clean that real quick. I'm not putting off showing you my pantry at all. I normally use a hard water cleaner, uh, like a shower hard water cleaner to clean this, but I'm all out of it. Yeah, that did nothing. Oh, I'm double embarrassed showing you this. What's a gal to do? Well, I'm just gonna let this soak here for a little bit and then we'll come back to it. Okay, here's the official reveal and I'm a little intimidated when I watch other people show their pantries and they're like, first of all, their pantry's the size of my bedroom. Second of all, they have a little basket for every piece of food that they eat and that's just not how I, we live our lives here. So here it is. <laughs> 
So I try to live my life with the white baskets and most of the time they work out pretty well. But I feel like uh, it's like overflowing right now. So I just need to tidy this crap up. I'm gonna set the alarm for, let's give me 20 minutes. How about that? You think I can get it done in 20 minutes? Let me also say that I am happy that we have a pantry because since we've been touring a ton of houses, we have found that not everyone has a pantry. And the first house we lived in, it was in Europe. So their kitchens are generally smaller and they don't have pantries like this. They just use cupboards. Imagine that, <laughs> storing your food in cupboards. But I also feel like there's good in that too because it allow, it, may, it forces you to limit the amount of food that you have so that you eat through it before you buy more. Initially, I wasn't gonna take everything out, but here we are. Okay, set the timer for 20 minutes, will ya? Here it's just said pee pee, so let's make that 25 minutes. Okay, I'm back. So, technically, uh, we have barely started potty training. I put her on the potty in the morning, but she doesn't ever really go. She's probably the latest child we've ever started to train. And if you've been a friend for a while, you know that I do things very slow. I introduce it very early on just to get them kind of comfortable with it. Thank you. And uh, like she knows when she goes, but she normally tells us after she goes. <laughs> but there's a start, that's a start. Oh yeah, huh? I should just take this whole basket out. Oh my gosh, here's my ginger. Ooh. All right, we've got to get focused over here. I only have like 18 minutes and 30 seconds to go. 18 minutes and 30 seconds to go. I love it. I love it when my family puts open things back in the pantry. Yeah. You know what's better than putting open things back in the pantry? Putting empty things back in the pantry. Recycle. Ah, sick, sick. I knew something. Oh, there's a spider. Can you see the spider? Tell me you can see the spider. Right there. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Ah, ah. I gotta get these things in the garbage. Okay, gotta go. It's probably on me now. These things smell so bad. They're leaking. Oh, smells like a dumpster. You know what? I knew something smelled in there. Kind of like a porta potty, but I just always thought, oh, it's probably my clothes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't. Sixty-five seconds remaining. Sixty-five seconds remaining. That calls for a dance. Come on, Meredith. Dance with me. Dance with me. Dance with me. <laughs> Teaching her the worst dance moves in the history of dance. Come on, Meredith. Dance with me. <laughs> Fantastic. Good moves, Meredith. Good moves. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we celebrated a little bit too early. Hey, but right on time. Okay. I do have to decide whether these are good or bad. This goes in that cabinet. 
Uh, this is empty. Those are empty boxes. And I guess I could just shove this in here. Let's consider that a chip. All right, bottom to top. How's it look? 20 minutes worth of effort looks a hundred times better. Let's go top to bottom now, just for funsies. Hey, Looks pretty good, I'm pretty proud of myself. When one mess is cleaned, another mess happens. <laughs> okay, I guess I really had to finish it off for you guys. Pantry's still looking nice. And the rest of the kitchen is tidy. It's good enough, right? Good enough for me, at least. Meredith, show me how you rock. She's nice and content. So I am going to throw a marinade together tonight uh, for dinner. It is a Hawaiian chicken with coconut rice. My printer is running out of ink, but it's no big deal. I kind of have my life together because I printed it out. <laughs> I have this really sad looking pineapple and I think I shared it on my Instagram yesterday that I bought new produce and this one was just in the corner looking at me like, really? <laughs> Anyway, I figured tonight we would eat this corn. I was eavesdropping on some people in the grocery store saying how good the corn is this year. So then of course I thought, well, I need to have this corn. So I bought a few ears. It was like five for $2. I don't know if that's a good deal, but it seems like a decent deal. Uh, and I figured this would pair well with it. I don't know. You always pair your side dishes with your main dish. It doesn't matter. It's like food, you know? If it doesn't taste good, you get to try again in a couple hours. Okay, so for Hawaiian chicken, we need some pineapple. So I'm hoping this one didn't go bad. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Moment of truth here. This is either going to be a perfectly ripe pineapple. It's gonna be nice and moldy. It has started to collect some fruit flies. Unbelievable. It's incredible. Oh man, yeah, this smells good. So for this recipe, I think you grill, what is that? Hold on, this was not washed efficiently. Most likely my fault, it's no big deal, life goes on. Anyway, for this recipe, you grill some uh, pineapple rings. So I figured we would do that. So instead of getting chunks, uh, pineapple chunks, I'm just gonna get the rings out of here. So that'll be a nice change of pace. We'll see what the center of this thing looks like. It is extra juicy. The juice is like overflowing on this thing. Sometimes they're really hard to get out. You think it's gonna be a good one, Meredith? Ooh, well, a little couple brown spots. Oh my goodness, wait, did I not go all the way down? Hold on, I'm gonna go back in. I think that's the bottom now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to get it off of this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Mm, look at those perfect rings. Ooh, is that nummy? Well, we need some juice for our marinade, so I'm gonna collect it out of here. All right, let's see how much juice comes out of here. Ooh, a decent amount. I feel like I'm just gonna, sh you know, crush some of these pineapple pieces and that'll help the flavor too. It says to use your blender, but uh, I don't feel like washing it. You add a quarter cup of soy sauce. I have cocoa aminos, cause that's how I roll. Soy free, I actually like the taste of that better. And then three tablespoons of ketchup. You guys, we accidentally left this out. Just three little tablespoons there. After we ate last night outside, it was the only thing left on the table, why? Anyway, so we just asked our home device and it said that you can leave condiment ketchup out for a month. And I never really thought about that. We always throw it in the fridge right away, but restaurants, they always have some on the table. So that makes sense, right? Also, I don't like ketchup. But for whatever reason, when we're out to eat, I don't know if they use a different kind of ketchup or if their ketchup has extra sugar or whatever, but I'll eat it with some fries. You also need a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. Yes? Hold up, guys. Special update. If you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, because I don't think I have shared it here on the tubes, but outside in our lanai, there's a bird who let, made a nest, who got stuck in our lanai for a couple of days and made a nest and then laid some eggs. So then we didn't want to move the nest. So it's just hanging out in our lanai. We leave the doors open so they can come and go and get food or whatever. But the mama bird finally hatched an egg and Alex just called me out there. So I don't know what happened. Hopefully it's still alive. Let's find out. The eggs are hatched. I don't know if you can see in there. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that. There we go. Can you see him moving a little bit? Oh, isn't that the coolest? <gasps> Hello, baby bird. Hello, baby bird. Oh my gosh, Alex, this is the coolest. I think they all hatched. Oh, dang it, I lost it. There it is. Oh, 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 I 
can see the birds. I can stop blurring. Look how cool. I can't wait to see it. <gasps> Are you ready? They're all ready. Right. Alex, oh my gosh, this is the craziest thing, man. They're just in there looking crazy. Do you see this? They're all hatched. I think there's four little birds in there. Four little babies. Wasn't that super cool? All right, back to dinner. I can't find the bottom to my garlic press, so I'm just gonna press the cloves of garlic right into the marinade. Oh, I don't know if I have the strength for this. Is the paper still on here? We got some problems. That one's a lost cause. Oh, of course. Of course that happened to me. Why? Why, Kim? Take two. It calls for five to six cloves. I'm just, I don't know, I just grabbed a few. Okay, well, it smells decent. I have my chicken that has just started to thaw out because, well, my life isn't that put together. I'm just gonna let it finish thawing in the marinade. Just give it a mix and then put it in the fridge. Well, I need a little snack before I start to make snack for the kids. Alex just went to go pick them up. This is a snack I used to eat all the time as a dessert. I kind of miss it. Just some yogurt, some blueberries. Oh my gosh, the other day we went to Alex's uh, grandmother's house and she lives like on a farm with cows and stuff. And we found some wild blackberries and we picked a bunch and Eleanor ate probably like an entire pound. They were great. It doesn't look as good as it as it does when other people do it. But it looks good enough for me. Some yogurt and this is my favorite granola from Cascadian Farm. Delicious, French almond vanilla. I gobbled that snack up and I am planning on making just an after school snack for my kids. I am going to make the Heavenly Hunks mostly because last time I made them I stinking loved them. I can't find the recipe. Uh, guess where it was? The last place I looked. Hold on, this is dirty. Well, I might not double the recipe because I don't know if I have enough ingredients. 20 minutes later, I have everything that I need. Not really. I need more rolled oat. Is this easier than running to Costco and getting actual heavenly hunks and spending $10? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're gonna grind up two thirds cup of oats because I am going to double it. Why is this cord so short? About to make oat butter. I'm gonna replenish my oats. Cool, cool, cool. And now we're gonna do four cups of oatmeal. I guess I have to open the lid. I was about to make homemade granola bars, which I feel like I used to make for my kids all the time. Like a really long time ago, I used to make them all the time. It's gonna be big enough. And I stopped making them. Well, I don't really know why. I suppose for multiple reasons. I don't think that's gonna be big enough. Fine. In she goes, what a waste. Uh, anyway, I did find that when I used to make homemade granola bars, I would put everything in them, mostly because I like granola bars with a lot of stuff in it, like seeds and stuff like that. Okay, two thirds cup tapioca powder. I don't have that, so I'm using arrowroot powder, but I'm sure you could just use flour. Four tablespoons of brown sugar or a quarter cup. Oh, here's the kicker, okay one cup of corn syrup or agave or honey. And I think, I'm just gonna use up the last of my corn syrup. I did look at different recipes to try to decide which one was healthier, uh, but they all had some type of sweetener, whether it's honey or agave or actual sugar. So pick your poison, you know? Goo, doubling it, man, that makes it really expensive. One cup of coconut oil. Do you know how much coconut oil is? And I get the good stuff, this is unrefined. At least I think it's the good stuff if my memory serves me correct. But it usually fails me, so don't take my word for it. One cup of coconut flakes, and these are unsweetened organic, because that's how we roll. Not really. I think that's it. Goo! Except for the chocolate chips. One cup of chocolate chips. Doesn't this just look beautiful? I don't know, maybe that's just me. And then I'm going to give it a good mix. Last time I made this, 
I had just had one portion of the recipe and I was able to mix it all in the, um, whatever that thing is called, the food mixer. Oh, speaking of food, I bought a cookbook like four days ago on Amazon. It was supposed to be here like three days ago, but it hasn't arrived yet. I think it's supposed to arrive today. So I'll share that with you if it comes here on time. I'm hoping to get these in the freezer so they have time to like set before my kids get home. I'm just gonna plop it in a large dish and I'm not even gonna oil it. There's so much oil in here. Last time I put down parchment paper and just realized I didn't actually need it. So I don't wanna waste it if I don't have to, you know? I can just cut them straight in the pan. I'm not taking fancy pictures for a blog, so it doesn't really matter to me what it looks like. But it does matter what it tastes like. I'm gonna throw it in my freezer for as long as I can. Man, that's what I get for looking at the recipe. I didn't add salt. I feel like this just enhances the flavor. And I wanted to add some flaxseed. Whoops, forgot to do that. Oh well, maybe next time. All right, I'm just gonna cut up some stuff and throw it on a cutting board and call it a charcut. I got some really cute peaches from the grocery store the other day. Aren't they darling? I don't know if they're in season, but they look good. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Memories come back when I'm with you. It's not much, but it's honest work. <laughs> Uh, for real though, this will be good enough when they get home and then those granola bars on top of it. But before they get home, I think I'm gonna squeeze in a very quick 10 minute workout. Let's do it. I gotta move all the toys out of the way. We'll vacuum later. Okay, technically I put on Sydney Cummings. You guys know I love her. This is a butt burnout. I would rather work out the whole leg, but um, there's only so many 10 minute workouts, so I'm gonna try this one out. Butt burner workout. So grab your glute resistance bands or a light dumbbell. Got and it. Together. So grab your Let's glute resistance bands. Let's do it. Come to your 10 minute butt burner move. That was a workout in and of itself. Move. Okay. So <laughs> everyone has 10 minutes. My hair came undone. My hair tied. Rushing through my body, I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just a bad friend, but if you treat me right, I will be the best girl in this whole world. No, I'm not gonna fight. I got my hands on your body, so tell me. Tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be naughty Because there ain't nobody love you like I Like I do 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 Like I do
cut your glute resistance band. Step together, let it fall. Whew, if you use it. I'm proud of you. Good job for moving your body. Thank you, body, for allowing us movement. It always feels good, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, two hours. Woo! Worked up a little sweat, a little perspiration. Draining the toxins from my body always feels fantastic. All right, the kids should be home any minute now. I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day. Ooh, someone else is here. I don't know. It's not Amazon. <laughs> Still waiting for my cookbook. So the copycat hunky chunkies <laughs> came out of the freezer. I cut some up. I think I left them in the freezer way too long because they're really hard to cut. Uh, the kids like them and they're gonna gobble them up. And so am I. Here's my final board. And the deliciousness. Guess what finally came in the mail. I've been th thumbing through it and I've already bookmarked a few pages. So I'm gonna go through the rest of it with you because um, I realize you might wanna see what's inside. Maybe you'll be able to see inside. I don't know how I'm gonna do the camera angle. I'll do my best. The gist of this book is 100 cozy recipes free of gluten and refined sugar. And you know what got me? It was $10.50 on Amazon. So um, if you wanna waste $10.50, I will link it below. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for a cookbook, you know? Plus, I kinda feel like I grew up with her. Laguna Beach, you know what I mean? Our realtor just sent us another house. Where did it go? Where did it go? Looks interesting. It looks very boxy. Ooh, hold on. Give you a sneak peek. I have no idea what this room is. Nice little lounge. That's the kitchen. Wow. Ooh, that looks like fake furniture. Ooh, that looks fake too. What is happening? Someone please tell me why this picture is in it. Uh, okay, I've seen enough. <laughs> dinner started so I'm going to shuck these corn and then throw them in the oven with a little bit of oil or maybe butter you know there's like some fancy trick to this if you put it in the microwave and you can like squeeze it out and I've done that before but I feel like this is just as good so I have to tell you this corn I think in this video I told you that everyone was raving about the corn in the grocery store so I had to go buy it I can't remember what I shared already but I can confirm it was good corn and I love making it because it keeps Meredith so busy. Changing her diapers the day after is not that great, but <laughs> it keeps her nice and uh, content oh gosh, during dinner time. Crying. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am crying. I thought, okay, dinner should be ready soon. I didn't even turn my oven on. Oh, why? <laughs> I had everything out, ready to grill. I've got my GFG plugged in. The rice is almost finished. Oh man, I'm an idiot. Of course, I have to give you a review on this marinade. It was delicious. I think marinades in general just make everything better. The it's Everything's more tender, more juicy, more succulent, if you will. And the pineapple, not a big hit with the kids, but I do think it added a lot of flavor. Grilling it, I don't know what that did. I think it's supposed to make it sweeter or ma just make it hot. I don't really know. I didn't notice a huge difference in flavor, so if I had to do it again, I wouldn't grill the pineapple. But nonetheless, it was delicious. Great meal. Everyone raved about it. Alex took one bite and said, wow, this is a home run. So if that gives you any inclination of how it was, that's how it was. Great. And succulent. Well, that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and getting things done around the house. Hope you enjoyed your time with me. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Let me know what you want to do around the house. This is weird. Bye.